So what I should do now is to go through the news items again and pick up on these things here. So the one that's important, the only one that's left, um, by the way, the Python will have been updated. Yep, so we're on 3.91. Um, okay, 3.7 has been uninstalled, so let's do a clean up. Let's get rid of that and then just do an update. And it says it's switching to Python 3.9, which it's on now, so that's good. Um, yeah, maybe now would be a good time to deal with this uh, Python exec. So CD etc Python exec. Just see what changes there are. So it looks like it's this update to make Python 3.9 the active version. The looks of it. So all I'll do is just copy this onto the old one. Uh, sorry, I normally move that actually. That's better. It gets rid of the dot file as well. Um, so really the news items regarding the Python have probably been dealt with because I've got no special setup as regards keeping specific versions so I'm quite happy to use the latest version um, unless there's a package that specifically needs an early version which doesn't appear to be the case at the moment uh, so I just need to deal with this news item 31 so this is all about the removal of console kit I think I saw console kit being removed probably because it's all the um, GUI stuff that's why it was removed so I could just check that yeah it's not, not there but I do need to add in well first of all I need to remove um, console kit from the config files which is what this command would deal with um, all right, okay, it's the backup file. So yeah, it appears twice in there, so I need to edit that and remove it from there. So I need to remove the option there, and it looks like this line is options for console kit itself, so I'll just delete that whole line search for it again, no it's no more in there and I really need to also check make.conf in case it's set there globally which you can see straight away it's highlighted there so I'll just delete that as well even though it's not active that use command it's ready to go um, so the next thing I need to do is to emerge e login d so what i need to do here needs to be made global so i'll just add it back into the use line here um alphabetical order it should go here e login d um, i'm not going to bring the make.config in yet but what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring back the update command and actually add it in this way temporarily at the moment um, but it will just come in naturally when I bring in the um, make.conf so this should touch a few packages in fact it may not even because there's no oh it has done uh, what's happened here Right, looks like because I'm bringing in e login D, it's, it's being brought in here and that's having a knock on effect with other packages which are using it. So I have got some 
packages installed that use eLogin D, so it, it is a good idea to use it now, really, I suppose. So let's get those ones building. I can't imagine these would take too long. Oh, mind you, I've just spotted LLVMs there. I think that takes a little while to build, and so does Rust. So this might be a sort of half hour, three quarters an hour build.
Right, so that is finished. Um, there's a couple of big packages in there, obviously. I think Rust was another one, which I didn't, didn't consider. Um, let's just check the output now, see if there's anything to be done. There shouldn't really be that much to do, because we're just reinstalling stuff that um, already exists. Now, this was something I remembered had to be done with eLogin D, so we can do that now. And just select the news. Yeah, it was just that thing about everything I'll see. So really, as far as I'm concerned, the news is finished with. Um, I'm going to do a depth clean to make sure everything's okay with that. There's nothing to drop out there. And I'll do a rough depth rebuild on that as well, although I don't think this will produce anything. No, so that's okay then.